What's up guys welcome back to HMHT my name is Ben your host of course and today we have a brand new update which is macOS Pixel 11.4 beta 3 now I've updated to the developer portion of this update but don't mind that as this update is also available to public beta testers so regardless of the profile you have this is an update that you can update to should you wish to now this update comes one week after the release of macOS Pixel 11.4 Beta 2. So it's good that Apple is releasing weekly updates when it comes to 11.4. Also, if we look at the update or the build size that came in for me for this update, you can see that the size was exactly 2.86 gigs and I was updating from 11.4 Beta 2. So you should be seeing something similar should you do a similar update now if we go to see the other updates that were released today in addition to this so you can see that on the developer website we have macOS pixel 11.4 beta 3 we also have ios 14.6 beta 3 ipad os 14.6 beta 3 watch os 7.5 beta 3 if we go down a little bit tvOS 14.6 beta 3 however there was no home pod os update and just in case you want to know all these updates are available to developers and to public beta testers now when it comes to macOS pixel 11.4 beta 3 let's see the build number that came with this update so if we go to the about this mark section you can see the new build number and it's 20f5065a this build number has an a at the end which means that in terms of stability for 11.4 we are getting a little bit stable or almost close to the final release or final beta of this update and just in case you are curious also on beta 2 which was the previous beta we had a c at the end so we managed to jump from a c build and with beta 3 we now have an a which is a good thing and if we just go to see the system storage that's being taken up by this update you can see that it's taking 16.47 gigs and on beta 2 it was taking 16.45 gigs which is sort of an increase of about 20 -ish, uh, megabytes which is not something that's terrible or that's outrageous now let's talk about what most people like the segment that i also enjoy myself which are the new features and changes that came with this update now the first one that i should mention is that there's a bunch of new splash screens when it comes to some apple applications that are being updated so if you open the apple tv app for example you get a new splash screen which says welcome to tv the home for tv on your mac find your itunes movies and tv shows plus your apple tv channels all right here and then you can start watching and browse the different sections so that's a new splash screen that came to the apple tv app on the mac and then also the other splash screen that came to this update has to do with app store so you can see what's new on the app store and it combines it with arcade or apple arcade and you can learn how developers may handle your data on app product pages so you can protect your privacy so this is something that is here with this update another new splash screen when it comes to the app store and if you also continue or go to specific applications you'll be able to see the privacy practices and what type of information is going to be collected with regards to your privacy and so on so this is something that's good and then also another app that got a splash screen has to do with the podcast app so when you open the podcast app for the first time you're going to see this splash screen that says welcome to apple podcast apple podcast subscriptions support your favorite podcasters and unlock ad free listening bonus episodes and more so that is also something new and then also some people were having issues when it comes to podcast on beta 2 where they could not properly save or listen to certain podcasts but as you can see here it's fixed and for me actually on this podcast i had to 
click start listening here for about two times the first time didn't register and then it popped up again i don't know it could be some sort of a bug in the system but i'm sure when this update comes out fully this will have been fixed also if you go to the release notes of mac os big Sur 11.4 beta 3 it didn't mention anything new or anything that changed however there are some information that this build supports radeon 8000 series and geforce 5000 series so those could be supported i don't have them in hand to be able to test them out but if you do you can always test them out with this update and also um, music airplay crash issue have been resolved with this update so if you're playing your music on airplay and then you are getting like stutters and then sometimes your music would stop playing out of the blue or your music app would just stop responding and crash those issues have been resolved with this update could could be something that had to do with a music app or airplay but those have been resolved and handoff because airplay has been fixed also should be a little bit smoother for you with this update and you can always test it out and hand off either to your ipad your iphone or any other apple device that you want to do handoff on now those seems to be the new features and changes that are here with mac os pixel 11.4 beta 3 at this time at the time i'm recording this video and now let's talk about the unfortunate or the issues and bugs that are here with this update and the first one well people are kind of outrageous actually a little bit and they want the support for the amd radeon rx 6700 xt graphics so we saw that on the previous betas of mac os pixel 11.4 other cheaper versions of amd graphics card were added but the rx 6700 has not yet been added so if you have those uh, graphics card i would hold off a little bit as they are not fully supported with this update and then also some people are reporting insane or drastic battery drain when it comes to beta 2 and also already when it comes to this beta 3 so i would uh first of all see what's going on with uh, the battery and then i would make up my mind before updating and something else that uh was reported to me on twitter has to do with excessive canal cpu usage so you'd want to keep an eye on your cpu and see if this is an issue that it could be affecting you now those seems to be also the bugs and issues that are here with mac os pixel 11.4 beta 3 and now when it comes to performance i would say that these applications that have been updated or uh, added new features or new splash screen when it comes to apple initially the response time or the functionality of them takes some time to fully function some of them the pop-up comes up like twice as you saw with the podcast and also you can see that some of them the loading takes so much time so functionality some of these apps you have to open them like twice in order for them to work properly i haven't actually restarted my mac since updating but i would say that yeah just those ones that were updated are sort of responding a little bit slow now those seems to be the issues that are affecting performance and i obviously i ran geekbench scores just to see how good this update is performing compared to beta 2 and on this update 11.4 beta 3 i got a score of 741 for single core and for multi core i got a score of 3057 comparing this to what i had on beta 2 on beta 2 i actually had a score of 627 for single core and for multi core i had a score of 2978 so you can see that beta 3 somewhat outpaces beta 2 when it comes to both single core and multi core by quite a little bit but it's not something that you're going to drastically experience but it's good that cpu single core cpu multi-core is a little bit better and then obviously we want to test the gpu or the graphics rendering 
on beta 3 when it comes to this update i got a score of 17192 and comparing this to what i had on uh, beta 2 i had 17329 so uh, gpu you can see that this update is slightly a little bit back but not by much there's something that i noticed with my geekbench scores whenever single core cpu single core multi-core or whenever my cpu performance is a little bit higher my gpu performance sort of tends to compromise sometimes i don't know why that happens if you have a clue you can let me know in the comment section below and then perhaps that will give me a better outlook or a big better understanding when it comes to these uh, geekbench scores now other than that those are the geekbench scores and how this update came in for me just in case you are curious to see my battery performance well my mac isn't really doing so well when it comes to battery because if you see here the battery we have a little triangle and it says important message battery capacity significantly reduced to restore capacity please check uh, your service option meaning that my battery is quite old and in it's no longer up to capacity so it needs to be uh, replaced and if we go to the uh, screen on time you can see the last 10 days the screen on time that i was getting for example on tuesday i had about uh, let's say about four hours 30 minutes using about 25 which is kind of good i don't know what i was doing but that seems like i wasn't using it so much and then on this day you can see that i had about uh, this is about 10 hours using less than uh, let's say five percent so not really the best representation i i really didn't test out the battery performance of this up of beta 2 actually since most of the screen on time you're seeing is for beta 2 so maybe for beta 3 i'll try do a better job and do a better representation when it comes to battery performance now whether you should update or not i would say that this update doesn't bring any major new features and changes when it comes to macro is pixel 11.4 so if you want to update or you want to update for new features and changes there isn't much and stability wise i wouldn't say there is a lot of changes still feels like beta 2 when it comes to stability and functionality so not much of a change and obviously we are looking forward to this update being released with the new uh, imax that was just released at apple's event the spring event that just passed so somewhere in the second half of may and beyond the earliest in the second half of may we could see this update and that's what apple said and other than that that's about it for me when it comes to mac os pixel 11.4 beta 3 if you like this video a like will be good and a sub will be better stay safe and i'll see you in the next video very soon peace